Greetings, everybody. R. Christian Minson here, coming to you live each week in the basement studios of Denver, Colorado, talking to you today about the ultimate conspiracy theory. The ultimate conspiracy theory. First, a little bit about me. I am uh, a senior trainer of the Transformational Breath Foundation, breathwork trainer that is. I've been doing breathwork for the last 15 years. I'm a coach, a holistic professional, speaker, author, and basically your guide to a higher version of yourself. Former monk uh, and former director of breathwork at Rhythmia Life Advancement Center. So let's get started. We're talking about the ultimate conspiracy theory. And why is this? So conspiracy theories abound these days, don't they? They're, they're everywhere, especially with the, the craziness that goes on, that's been going on in life in our recent times. By the way, do you know where conspiracy theory, that term actually comes from? Apparently back in the Kennedy era with the Kennedy assassination, the CIA started putting that term out to, to basically discredit any theories about what happened uh, in this Ken Kennedy assassination with, you know, that they didn't want to, to start unraveling the the ball of yarn here, basically. So it has become a term that, that basically is, is fairly derogatory, right? If anything, if anything doesn't seem to fit the mainstream narrative, it becomes a conspiracy theory. And that's possibly very detrimental to our uh, society and the, the way we operate in a, a world of free, free speech and free understanding. But today I have the ultimate conspiracy theory for you. So, uh, and this one cannot be debunked because it's true, literally. And you'll see what I mean by that because you're gonna now take a deep breath with me and let's dive in. So what is this conspiracy theory? Well, first we have to look at the word conspiracy and where it actually originates from. Con, meaning with or together, and spire, meaning to breathe. Conspire means to breathe together. Literally, a conspiracy is people grouped together and breathing together. So, I uh, finally have to admit to you that I am the ultimate conspiracist, if you, if that's even a word, because I've been creating opportunities for people to breathe together for the last 15 years. Well, and this is what I do as a breathwork uh, facilitator and, and personal development coach. It's, I use the power, uh, help you to use the power, unlocked in the, the breath. It's the, the prana, the life force energy that, that's this primary energetic unit of spirit that contains the intelligence of that spirit. And by a special technique of breathing, and uh, maybe this is the conspiracy, the, the special technique to maximize your intake of this energy, and that creates incredible, uh, incredible situations for you, incredible experiences. So, uh, the conspiracy, what is it? What is it that happens then? Why? Why do people want to come together in this conspiracy, essentially? Uh, it's an experience of connection. It's an experience of oneness. Uh, in a very literal way, think about this. The breath that you breathe was part of you. It's actually particles of you that come out into the atmosphere and somebody else breathes them in. They become part of that other person. They breathe that out. It becomes, somebody else breathes, breathes it in. It becomes part of them. All of us are literally unified in the breath and that we share part of ourselves in uh, this act of breathing together. So uh, what this really ends up doing on a very energetic level is creates a bond. It creates a, a sense of unity. Um, and there's power in, in this unity of experience. And uh, this unity in thought, this unity in purpose. And, you know, you've heard the, the old expression, united we stand and divided we fall. So no wonder people have concerns about those 
conspiring together or breathing together. Yeah, this is uh, so um, by creating this oneness, you know, with those breathing together, we approximate our return to our full oneness, the, the, the oneness which I believe is this love energy that, that is uh, imbued in everything. This leads me really to, to explain this, I created what I call the, the theory of everything, which really says if we think about it, God, the universal energy, the, you know, the creator, whatever that is, is one. It is. Uh, the energy of that one, I believe, is the energy of love, peace, and joy, which, which I shorten to just call love. So the energy of the one, the true nature of the one is love. This vibration of love. Now the one split into uh, infinite amounts of uh, pieces and we each one of us is a piece of that one in a very holographic sense. Have you, if you ever look at a holograph, if you were to take a holograph of my face, right, uh, a holographic image, and then you cut it into four pieces, well you wouldn't have four like you wouldn't have this eyeball here and then this eyeball and half my mouth and half my mouth. You'd have four actual full faces. The same image that you had in the, the original piece, that image would be there. You cut those in again in half, you're going to get a full image in each of those. So this is a great representation of how we basically are contained within us. We are part of the one and yet we contain the full image of the one or that love energy within us. So it is the why did the one divide? Because this is the expression of love to to manifest itself in an infinite variety of ways and and you and I and each individual out there is a unique facet of that love and a unique facet of continuing to express that love. So what is the purpose of life? Really for us to return to our true nature as that infinite love. So anything that you can do to express love, to embody love, to be uh, uh, a perpetrator of love is basically your highest calling. Uh, we do this through relationships. Relationships are, are facilitated through communication and the ultimate communication that needs to, to be there before uh, anything else can, can be received or, or communicated is respect. That's really the, the foundation of the, the, that theory of everything. But this part of us coming together to, to express love is really, that, uh, is really the, um, the purpose of our nature. And so conspiring, breathing together, brings us back into a, a oneness with the individuals that are there. And in that oneness, it helps us uh, to see, to, to recognize our oneness uh, as the, the infinite one, the creator, the source, if you shall call it that. So uh, that, is, that is the ultimate conspiracy, that we are breathing together. And, uh, you know, this, uh, there's power in numbers, there's power in us um, being you know, united, and so uh, don't take this lightly. And so how can you, how can you get in on this? Uh, hit me up. Uh, you know, as a breathwork facilitator, I offer sessions, you know, group sessions, individual sessions, and uh, help you to learn the power of your own breath. And that, that power of your own breath is what uh, connects you to the, the power of the universe. And now we got, uh, hello, Diana out there. Good to see you on. And uh, hello, Stella. Do you see you guys came on a little late. Hopefully you um, will be able to catch the, the essence of this, this theory. But so I'm, I'm really, you know, talking about the, the ultimate conspiracy theory, conspiracy, conspiring, meaning to breathe together ultimately. And so this is the one conspiracy theory that cannot be debunked because it is truth. It is the, it is ingrained in the name uh, conspire. To conspire means con with, spire, breathe, breathe with, breathe with each other. 
So um, what does this bring us? It can bring you, when you work, especially work to maximize the, the breath and the uh, life force energy that's in the breath, uh, that can bring about a catharsis of old emotional garbage stuff that's stuck inside you that, that's been influencing your life that can come up and be released. Uh, once that's released, you get in tune with the, the life force energy um, as that energy being the at its source love. So you feel connected in love. You start to see that your intuitive capabilities because the intelligence of this energy is the, the intelligence of spirit itself. So we, as we align more with that intelligence, we start, our intelligence starts to come online. Our intuition starts to manifest. Your creativity starts to fire on all cylinders. Um, again, this is the energy of creation. And as it's imbued within you, it stimulates your own creative nature. Um, but what it really, I think, does ultimately is gives hope to your soul. Um, and this is probably needed now more than ever. So this, uh, this isn't a, a long Facebook Live today. I just wanted to, to really reveal to you the true and ultimate conspiracy theory. And if that resonates you, reach out to me if you want to learn more about how you can conspire to be your highest self and, and, highest, and operate on the highest levels of being by bringing that life force energy and reconnecting yourself with spirit. Um, look me up here on Facebook, on YouTube, R. Christian Minson, on both of these, Instagram, the same thing, R. Christian Minson Breathes. Uh, go to my website, breathflow.com. Uh, send me a message to the contact form there. Let's keep this conversation alive and, and learn. Uh, there's nothing you can learn more powerfully than the power of your breath and what it can do for you. Um, so, what if? What if you did this? What if you tried out this breathwork process? You know, what if you breathed together with others? How much more uh, fulfilled would you feel? How much less alone? How much more connected might you feel? And uh, connected to your source and connected to your power. So, this is what is promised. For you if you dive in and, and check it out. With that, I'm going to make this short and sweet and say our Christian Minson until next time. Namaste. But before we go, let's pull out the guitar. I always promise a little bit of entertainment and a song that has to do with our our subject today, let's get the thing going. Here we go, let's see. Each time I breathe a little deeper, every breath I breathe, Feel your love inside of me And when I laugh a little louder The joy comes over me Will my laughter set me free? Each time I stand a little taller There's so much more I see Your smiling face it changes everything. I feel your love in everything. I feel your love surrounding me. I feel your love inside. 
Each time I breathe a little deeper, the calm comes over me. Feel my breath set me free. And when I sing a little louder, There we go. When we breathe, we feel that love. And that is the ultimate conspiracy to breathe together. All right, you folks. You'll be a Qigong master. It's a new epiphany. You're going to balance my breath. In excellent. Excellent, excellent. So thanks for tuning in. See you next time. While you're out there, conspire. Conspire to make love a reality. Talk to you soon.